Welcome back to Carnadies.org. Today we are going to be continuing with our series, Making Voting More Democratic, Desirability Conditions for Voting Systems. And we're actually going to be wrapping this series up today. We're going to be looking at non-dictatorship today. Now, hopefully this is the simplest criterion that we will look at. A system meets the non-dictatorship criterion if there does not exist any single voter such that for all possible arrangements of votes in the domain, that voter's preferences are identical to the society's preferences. So there's not one voter that no matter what anyone else votes, whatever that voter says goes. Or that there exists some one voter such that for all possible arrangements of voting preferences, the voter's top choice wins. Basically, a dictator is someone that no matter what the society votes, the dictator's preferences will win. This seems like a desirable condition, maybe for everybody but the dictator, if we are looking for a fair and democratic process. It's important to note that this will only be desirable with an unrestricted domain. In other words, if all the possible arrangements of voting preferences are the ones we're considering, or the ones we're looking at. Imagine you had a domain where there was one extra voter who couldn't vote how they liked. They had to vote with whatever the society preference was. They just looked at what the preferences of everyone else in the society were, whatever the system decided was going to decide the societal preference were, and then just copied them. And options where that voter didn't vote with whatever the societal preference was going to be were not part of that domain. Just think of it as a Johnny-come-lately that wants to jump on the bandwagon of whoever's winning. They get to look at all the votes before they decide, and they will only vote for someone that's already winning. There's no place in the domain where they don't vote along the societal lines. According to this criterion, they're actually a dictator, even though they clearly don't dictate anything. Based on this criterion, a dictator is someone that always is in line with the societal preferences. But the only way this situation arises is when we have a restricted domain, when there's someone that all of the options aren't available to them. They have to vote with the society, for example. So long as everyone can vote as they choose, the only voting procedure that will have a dictator is a dictatorship. If it is the case that for all other arrangements of voters, there is some voter, call it D, such that no matter what D picks, then the voting system that will win, then the voting system does not pass the non-dictatorship criteria. We're not saying that for all arrangements there is a different person in each arrangement who picks the societal preferences. Rather, we're saying that there's not one person for any arrangement such that whatever that one person picks, that same person in all the arrangements, that is the societal preference. Now, even though it may be a little bit begging the question against the dictatorship position, maybe that's a good thing, so we have said no to dictatorship, and everyone else is going to pass. Looking finally at all of these conditions, it seems that most of them are only not passing two of them. It's concerning that all those tie with dictatorship. Instant runoff voting doesn't pass three of them. The Condorcet method would be kind of the winner here, if you want to count it that way, because it only doesn't pass one criterion, but unfortunately, it's a really, really important criterion that there's always a winner. Condorcet method does not always have a winner, and so if you're looking for a winner out of a voting system, maybe that's not the best choice. But clearly, there's significant problems with all of these systems. What we're going to look at next is a voting system that will pass every single criterion. How can that happen, you might ask? Didn't you say that we're going to get to Arrow's impossibility that shows that no voting system can match all these criteria? Well, stay tuned for our video on May's theorem to find out what that system is, then a video on Arrow's impossibility theorem, and finally, 
a video avoiding arrows and possibility. Watch this video and more here at carnadies.org and stay skeptical, everybody.